Hello everyone, welcome to Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can handle mouse over functionality using Selenium WebDriver. So, handling mouse over functionality is very easy and there is a class provided in Selenium WebDriver. So, we'll go through the details of uh, that particular class and what are the methods supported there. So uh, first thing I want to show you is uh, if you, you know, go to most of the eBay or, uh, you know, e-commerce websites that you will see today nowadays, if you, you know, go to any of these categories, right, even if you don't click on any of these categories, you just hover over these categories, it will display a sub menu below that. Okay. And that's what, you know, you need to basically uh, emulate uh, using selenium web driver so we need to hover uh, our mouse on these you know categories and how we can do or how we can achieve it uh, that's what we are going to learn in this particular tutorial so if we go to the uh, selenium uh, java docs there is an actions class in uh, selenium so what this action class does is it provides you all the methods that you are uh, that you can use to handle the mouse operations keyboard and mouse operations right so if we go to the details of the method that you can see you can you know it has a lot of methods that will go through one by one but uh, in order to perform you know right click or double click you you have the methods uh, available there so double click is there um, you can double click on middle of a particular you know given web element you can do drag and drop key down etc so all these methods uh, will cover most of these one by one and in this particular one we'll see how we can hover over a particular you know web element move to that particular web element so you can see that there is a method move to web element and you have to provide the web element target and then the mouse um, it moves the mouse to the middle of that particular web element then you have other methods as well that you can use to move the mouse by the offset you can provide the x and y offset uh, or the coordinates and the mouse will move at that particular location by the offset that you have provided right and then you can move to the web element um, you know at the target and you, if you want specific you know on that particular web element you want to specify a particular offset for that you know web element so what it will do is it will move the mouse to an offset from the top left right so from the top left of the web elements for example you know this is the search button okay and you provided the web element for this search button to hover over this search button so from the top left if you specify uh, you know x and y offset so from left it, it will calculate the x and y offset and hover the mouse at that particular offset so these are, you know, the methods that we'll use to hover over a particular web element. And now let's see how this is done. So we'll go to uh, Eclipse and uh, let me copy the previous class and I'll simply paste it and change it to mouse over. And let's open ebay.com so we'll copy the url okay and i'll simply replace uh, this get by the ebay.com that we have copied okay and we'll maximize the window right now what is the next step to do that so we have the actions class so we have to create an object of the class right so the first thing is basically we have to identify on which particular web element we want to mouse over okay so let's go ahead and so for example on this particular let me close this so once the website launches i want to mouse over on the electronics section right so we'll first identify this particular web element so just right click and inspect and we'll get the locator of this particular element so i'll just copy the x bar and we'll go to that particular locator so what what we'll do is we'll say uh, driver dot find element sorry so driver dot find element by 
x bar. So we'll use x bar and just paste the x bar that we have copied, right? And we'll store it into a web element, right? So because you know the find web element, find element returns the return type is web element, so we'll store it in the web element variable. So we'll say um, element. All right, and import the library. Okay, now what's the next step? The next step is to basically um, create an object of the actions class. So we'll say new actions. Okay, and the actions constructor uh, takes the driver reference, so we can pass on uh, the driver reference there, and then we'll simply store it into the variable. So we'll say actions action and import the actions class library okay now the next step is to call the method on the action object right so now you once you say action dot you will see that all the methods that are available in this particular class right so we can click we can build we can click and hold context click double click right so all these methods are available key up key down etc and now what we need to do is we need to use move to element right so because we want to move to the element and if we use move to element web element uh, or whatever element we want to move to then it will move the mouse to the center of that particular web element so we'll use that and if you sp specify if you want to move the mouse to a specific ops offset of that particular web element you can use the second one move to element uh, web element and then comma integer offset x and offset y so we'll use move to element and what is the element element is stored in the element variable right so just let me cancel that okay okay so we are moving to the web element to the uh, web element or the category that we, we have identified and now the next thing we want to do is to perform okay. now calling this perform method is really important if you are trying to do the mouse over or move to the element because if you just use mouse move to element and you don't do perform because if you if we go to the documentation here right um, let me open the documentation so here if you see uh, move to element it returns you know the action again the action class so we have to um, basically use the perform because what it says is it co convenience method of performing the actions without calling the build first now there is there are two uh, things here so first you know is the build and the perform so when do we use build so build usually when you are doing the composite actions right so for example you are doing you know um, multiple keyboard actions say control c control v and you want to combine those composite actions in one you call you you have those composite actions you define those composite actions first then you call the build and it builds all those composite faction, uh, actions that you have defined in uh, that particular command and then you click uh, then you use the perform to perform all those uh, operations so perform unless and until you use the method perform the actual operation that you are looking for say for example moving to element won't be done so using the perform is important so now let's go ahead and run this uh, program and see that it hovers over the web element or the category that we have identified by the locator so it will maximize the page and it should hover over the electronics you can see that it has hovered on the electronics category so that's pretty much all how you will uh, you know emulate the mouse over events in selenium web driver so just these two lines is what you need to remember actions is the class um, that is available in selenium that you can use 
to mouse over uh, you know on a particular web element on any web page and move to element is the method that you will be using so there are a couple of variants in move to element you can move to you know the center of the web element or to the offset that you specify right so that's it for this particular tutorial hope you like it thank you very much for watching